from the dawn of history, mankind has striven to invent new technologies to soften a harsh and unforgiving world. Down the centuries, it has fallen to a small select group to make these quantum leaps in engineering. These rare, gifted innovators have been twinkling stars in the night sky. One of these stellar few was Henry Hoke, the recently deceased inventor of the Random Excuse Generator. At the Institute of Backyard Studies, Mark Thompson and Dr Chris Block are rebuilding Henry's masterwork. There are countless problems to solve. Will the platitude accumulator work? How fine should the credibility gaps be set? Will the blame shifter be powerful enough? Something seems to be wrong with it. It's, uh, it's, it's overstretched, I think. I'm not sure about the blue strain. I just don't know. But we've got this one working. I don't know. I don't know. Tonight, after many years of hard work, the moment of triumph approaches. They are starting the complete machine for the first time. That's good. Max it. Max it. That's good. That's good. And I just put it on the other Excuse generation starts by initiating the verb gas flow. The vacuum pressure draws gasified concepts into the verb grease tank. Once there, the verbal randomizer starts shuffling words unpredictably. The gasified grammar is filtered through a platitude accumulator and then shaped through a credibility gap normaliser and a blame shifter. A further random element is introduced when the alphabet shoot is switched on. Under random excuse theory, when the master procrastinator is turned off, the resulting product should be random excuses. Now is the moment of truth. A new page has been written in the great book of human achievement. Henry, your dream lives on. The researcher's joy knows no bounds. Years of dedicated hard work have come to fruition. Cheers. Cheers.